Welcome! In this video I'm going to list a small handful of solid beginner suits I think are easy to learn the basics with. These suits should hopefully become your backups to lean on when you want to focus on learning to support your partner as you improve. Whilst I'm not saying that every new player should main these suits, they can provide a solid foundation to help complement your learning experience and should provide strong fallbacks if you're failing to succeed on your primary suits of interest. This list is my opinion, it's not exhaustive, and is largely based on the learning process that was pushed upon me when I started the series. Some people describe beginner suits as strictly suits that'll teach you the fundamentals, but not necessarily win easily or quickly. And some believe they are suits with strong crutches that help you hammer wins on those unaware of how to deal with it. The suits I listed are usually somewhere in the middle of both. This guide will assume you know basic movement options, and I will link to guides in the description. To begin with, I'm going to suggest Gunner Zaku and Excelia, which are both back suits that have below average mobility along with a reliance on vernier or stationary attacks. However, both of them are designed with this weakness in mind and have substantially more powerful basic main shots to help compensate, along with a plethora of special tools and assists to help them defend themselves. The biggest attraction of these suits are their mains. The size, muzzle correction, guidance, and one-shot knockdown properties make timing shots much more lenient, but the relatively low ammo count means you have to make shots to count. New players should find that this design will allow them to focus on things such as recognizing when an opponent is going to land, holding formation with their partner, vectoring their opponent, and burst management, instead of getting too absorbed and attacking constantly. The charge shot can also let them contribute from green lock if necessary. The primary difference between the two is that Gunner Zaku has stronger tools in its assist to defend and attack with, whereas Excelia has weaker tools, but has a higher cost is granted more boost and general mobility. This makes Excelia a little less forgiving as she requires better movement to avoid damage. However, she does have the ability to provide shield bits to herself or her partner, which can enable them to force damage on the enemy. In this sense, Excelia can be an easier suit to play with a stronger partner, just surviving and sending shield bits you can contribute without actively attacking. Both of these suits get limited use out of F and S burst, so E burst would be recommended for a beginner. Next, let's look at Delta Plus, Marasai, and Zeta. These three back suits are good for beginners in a different way. While Skunner Zaku and Excelia have very powerful, easy to hit mains, these three suits have somewhat weak mains, but they can chain their shots together and reload when they run out of ammo. All three of them tend to spam a lot as a result. If an enemy moves incorrectly or doesn't respect the amount of shots firing at them, they're going to get hit and knocked down without you needing depth to put yourself at risk or spend too much boost. However, it's harder to aim to punish landing specifically without using their other tools, so for the most part you end up focusing on moving properly and maintaining your firing angle with techniques like boost hopping, fua stepping, and your defensive trump card assist fast falls. By boost hopping and chaining your main, then fua stepping back into safety, you can react to incoming enemy attacks by using your fast fall if necessary. This provides a very simple way to attack and defend, and your focus is spent recognizing when shots land to confirm in the full knockdowns and give you a comfortable window to process incoming attacks, which allows you to think more about what your opponents are doing and how to support your partner. As you get better in the game, you tend to stick to the ground more, but for the meantime, you just need to learn how to process incoming attacks. Delta and Zeta have mobile armor modes, but you should generally ignore these as a beginner. It's also a good idea to make sure you use Charge Shot Melee as Marasai to make sure you respawn as Marasai, otherwise it changes into a different suit on respawn that's a bit harder to play. These suits also gain low value from S Burst, so Extend is a good choice as a beginner, but F is a very valid choice for Zeta Gundam. Gusan Rebake Full City makes it onto the list due to its sheer simplicity and effectiveness. It has an above average main, a high tracking sub weapon, and a spread shot that with good timing is fantastic on self defense or offense. And it also has easy high damage combos with its scissors. This suit requires a bit more discipline as the only strikingly overbearing tool it has is its special shooting. And you should avoid the suit's regular melee as well, except for its shooting guard back melee. Suits in a similar vein would be RX-78 or Blue Frame, but those suits rarely reward you until you understand the fundamentals of the game, which will make you a weak partner. However, those suits will teach you the fundamentals of the game if that's what you're after. Once again, E-Burst is recommended for beginners, but once you're competent, there's a case for all three bursts on the suit. Now you might ask, why didn't I mention any 3Ks? There are plenty of 3000 cost suits that are beginner friendly and that they have strong, easy use tools that I haven't mentioned here. The primary reason for this is that 3000s generally come with a higher degree of responsibility in how they have to approach any match. As an example, failing to burst effectively can pretty much just lose you the game outright. Furthermore, 3000s are an unstable cost in shuffle, which is where you will be probably playing a lot of your games as a beginner. 
1500s are similar in this respect as well. As such, I don't think these cost tiers are an ideal choice for brand new players. Once you have a better understanding of how 2000 and 2500s work, you can and should move on to learning 3000s, as it can help expand your understanding of the game. In Team Hold, I would still recommend trying a 3000 cost comp, however, such as 3000-2000 cost, where the 2000 cost tries their best to avoid overcosting. If you choose to focus on playing either of these costs as a beginner, you will need to have a good understanding of your suit's tools and overall game plan, especially with burst usage. There are a few resources that will have a basic rundown on your suit's core idea on a site like GG Easy, the JP Wiki, or YouTube Guides. When you've gotten a good amount of play and are getting comfortable with your reliable beginner suits or preference picks, here's a short list of ideas for where to go next. Communicate with other players about your weaknesses. This can be people of your level or, even better, higher level players. You can read guides on how to maximize the gameplay system and movement, and watch replays of your suit in the hands of a good player and observing how they play, and then compare your own replays to it. I intend to cover other gameplay topics in the future, so if you have a question or want something expanded on, leave a comment or drop a question in my curious cat inbox in the description. Thanks for watching and look for more content in the future.